what is coming towards my collective this week for my yin and yang oracle deck? yeah you could be or in your comfort zone or you could be coming out your comfort zone and your south node stepping you know coming out of that comfort zone yeah you could be going through some type of transformation or you will be going through some type of transformation Coming out of the south node. Someone willing to apologize or wanting to apologize or seeking your forgiveness about a situation. Yeah, you could be focused on your self-love and creation and intentions at this time. Yeah, that's like we've been close. But... If, um, it says, yeah, self-love, creation, and intentions. You're setting your intentions for yourself at this time. It says um, past, lack, and suffering in reverse. So you're not suffering about anything in your past. Or somebody else could be wanting you to feel that way from the past. Yeah, you're having this renewal spark, this new beginning. You're tapping into with your self-love. What else? Yeah. You could be focused on your self worth or elevating your self worth at this time. And that's the truth. You could be also feeling closed off or somebody is closed off in a connection or resisting a connection. Yeah, somebody could be in regret about a situation, twin flame, union. You have some type of attraction coming through. A lot of attraction in this connection. Pay attention to your dreams and messages. Some type of unexpected storm. Um, it's a thoughts and isolating. So somebody could be isolating at this time. A cycle has been closed as well. You can also be, God bless you son. You can also be healing your inner child at this time. Or maybe that's what you need to focus on. Somebody could be feeling triggered or it's trying to cause some type of conflict. Yeah, of your renewing spark that you're going through or about to have. Somebody could be spying and watching. Hi. Yeah, somebody could be feeling rejected at the time. At this time. Yeah, your ancestors are your ancestors guys are protecting you. They're alchemist energy. You turning all that negative dark shit into light and love. Love and light. Pain into power. Yeah, you could be focused on your structure and you know, foundation, forming and you know, building at this time. Somebody could be in a stalemate situation a lot of chemistry and also in some type of connection yeah you could be feeling empowered you know to be focused on your foundation or empowered to move forward having that strength and coverage you know it takes a long time to get there sometimes after coming out of a you know that dark night of the soul yeah somebody could be feeling regretful about a situation that occurred um it's time to stay in the present moment, have that gratitude, always keep your gratitude on. You know, you could be self-caring at this time, cleaning your house, doing face masks, you know, taking care of yourself and how you love on yourself. Or maybe this is a time to take some time to do some self-care. Or maybe you just got a massage or you you just about to go get your nails done or something, you know, how y'all do chemistry and the connection also here it's it until that do his part so yeah somebody could be in the connection let's see saturn in this karma somebody could be feeling rejected um this divine feminine feminine she could be feeling rejected or this feminine energy she could be focused on her self-worth at this time 
you know, something that was planted in the springtime, or this springtime now, was, was, yeah, springtime is here now. Yeah. You can be focused on having that higher self activation, or having an activation of your higher self. Facade believes upside down. Somebody is not in the facade anymore about the situation. Release, yeah, this is your time to release and surrender and purge through all that no longer serves you at this time frame. Release what no longer, no, release what no longer serves you. Yeah, you could be feeling guarded at this time about something. Yeah, you could have some communication coming through, Mercury. You know, somebody could be traveling with some type of information. Yeah, you took that leap of faith, or you could be taking a leap of faith. You know, taking on new opportunities. Yeah, it says fate. Fate and detours, divine intervention. Upside down, though. So this is not, this wasn't faded. You could be nurturing and you could passionate energy at this time. You could have a love offer coming in that's nurturing and, you know, have that type of harmony energy. Um, that's the truth. Um, somebody could be using control tactics. You could be focused on your home and your family and commitment at this time. It's time to release what no longer serves you again. You could be having an awakening or remembering a situation. You could also be at distance or it's time to, you know, to have a time out of a situation or, you know, fall back off of something. You know, it's okay to do that because I always like to fall back and shit. But it's so you could have a union coming through or you could be in union with yourself or focus on some type of union, taking action on a new beginning. Somebody could be feeling toxic, like having some dealing with some toxicity, bound to a situation, a toxic karmic cycle, or going through patterns, you know, negative patterns and bullshit. You could be focused on your self-worth again. You took that leap of faith. You could be reflecting, or somebody could be re somebody could be projecting a situation onto you, like fear, um, insecurities, um, anger, bitterness projected and everything. But you can block all that shit out. Yeah, you're healing your inner child right now. An unexpected storm could be coming through. Reflecting. You could be reflecting on a situation. Hold on. Yeah, you're having a celebration of your gifts and abundance at this time. Yeah, you're on your 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 um North Node cosmic purpose. You're you're on your shit. You doing what you're supposed to do. Little do they know. They might not understand it, but you and the most high understand. Yeah, somebody could be feeling like lack of luster. Doubtful about a situation. You can have a um a union coming through of a soul tie or a soul tie connection. Or you could be dealing with some type of soul ties at this time. What's this? It says, yeah, some type of attraction. You could be feeling like, you could be very attractive. Um, Somebody could be feeling cold and detached about a situation. They say a third party involved, yeah. So this third party could be feeling cold and detached about a situation. Or this person, you know, feeling cold and detached about this attracted person or the third party could be feeling upset about something you know take what resonates and leave what doesn't yeah pay attention to your dreams right you know write down notes you know people do dream magic and shit so you gotta pay attention and when you wake up just write down shit you peep and pay attention to because that can also mean something yeah you you closing out toxic karmic cycles as well completion yeah, you remembered and have an awakening about something. And that's what's up. What's this? Yeah. Decisions. You can be making decisions about something. 
or it's time to make a decision or pay attention to your dreams you might they might tell you what decision you need to make yeah you're taking a leap of faith you have got some new opportunities coming through yeah somebody could be having memories or thinking about what y'all used to do or just miss you or just you know, all in the head, a twin flame connected connection. You could be nurturing and compassionate at this time. Let me get one more pool. Yeah, your spirit guides got you. Assistance, you got assistance from your spirit guides at this time. Just know that. Stay focused. Stay prayed up. Drink your water. Mind your business. Stay confident. Stay ahead of your own game. And keep going. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be involved. And then we also have fire fire energy, fire sign energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody could be going through a separation as well or longing for someone. Yeah, union, a new beginning of the union coming through. Taking that coach on a new beginning, a union that you might have. Going on. It could be a distance from someone. Yeah. Drop down them limitations and fears. Drop the fears because you have a new connection coming through to you. You know, block out all the bullshit. Speak to yourself kindly, compassionately. Besides all the chaos and conflict going on around you, tune in with your son. Tap it. Tune in with yourself. Tap it into yourself. You'll be all right. Yeah, remember. Always remember that. I hope this helps as well. Let me get one more pull. Yeah, somebody could be going through um, an ego death or they all, they very prideful. Or they have a big eye. You know, they're big. I say big eye. Wow. Yeah, somebody could be watching. But it's a third eye clarity right there. Confirmation. Fulfillment. You got a wish fulfillment coming through to you, towards you. Collective. Yes. Yeah, release will no longer serve you at this time. And you'll be okay. You know, release the toxic behavior, the toxic patterns, the stagnant energy toxic connections that no longer serves you karmic ties karmic people karmic jobs karmic connections that no longer serves you you'll be fine i believe in you i hope you have a lovely day hope this helps you loves